Hey guys, Preston with N3 here in our 2001 Super Aeronautique. Here to go through some of the features on this boat. We just finished up here and redid um, a lot of things on it. So just kind of want to go through some of the features. Um, on the back end, you'll see we got our teak platform. That will be refinished. Uh, it's currently not, but we wanted to get out of here on this sunny day and get, get some video of it. But that will be touched up. Um, along with that, we did a full rebuild and, re and a brand new engine in this thing. Let me pop that up and give you guys a look. It's a 5.8 liter PCM, 330 horse motor, um, the GT40 to be exact. But uh, that thing got new exhaust manifolds, new intakes. Uh, it's a fresh block. Um, we've gone through, done full service on it. Runs great. We put hours on it. And it's going to continue to run amazingly well for a long time. So, uh, again, a lot of work done there on the engine. Um, either side, we've got some storage going on. Um, brand new cover in there as well as a snap-on bow cover. But the uh, brand new cover is a full cover for the boat. Um, close that up here. And we'll take a look at the rest of the interior of the boat. You'll see it. Obviously, the interior. Um, there's a couple points where you'll see it's a little uneven on the back. Um, this interior has been replaced. We can tell for a few reasons. One being, um, Nautique did not do their logos in yellow, which you'll see that throughout the boat. Along with that, um, there's a couple pieces that don't fit quite to. Uh, exact factory specification but they're in good shape same with up on the bow there uh, just to point out a couple vinyl issues there's a small seam split here along with over here in this corner but other than that it's all in pretty good shape some of the stitching is a little worn out uh, those are really the only major points I wanted to touch on as far as the vinyl goes on the exterior video you'll see a couple scratches we'll point out as well uh, basically you're gonna have storage under all these uh, fire extinguishers down there service plate and then flip this up and you've got a brand new polk 10 inch sub in there um, new amps and this thing is set up with a bluetooth um, audio setup so you can connect wirelessly to this thing. Um, all the interior speakers, six of them are Roswell's. Can't see them because they're behind the screens here. Those are all Roswell speakers through the interior. Um, but yeah, awesome sounding stereo set up on this 2001. Um, obviously we've got a ski pile on towards the back of the boat. we we'll come off on to the dash, you're gonna see that on we got a depth finder perfect pass set up on here so we got GPS cruise for wakeboarding um, you've got all your um, your ballast fill buttons over here blower nav lights um, we've got our tachometer speedometer um, all that type of diagnostic up on the dash as well as an adjustable Steer, tilt steering wheel. Brand new steering cable in this boat as well. I'll fire this thing up while we're driving. The wind's blowing me a little bit over towards the shore. Throw in reverse while we're talking. But as you can see, she fires right up just fine. Um, as well as your storage under the seats, you're going to have a ski locker right here in the belly of the boat. And it just pops up with this lock right here. Um, Capacity on this is nine. And actually behind the driver's seat, you can see our ballast uh, valves. So to fill the two ballast tanks, you've got one on each side in the rear corners of the boat underneath the uh, storage lockers. There's 250 pound tanks per side. Simply to start them, you turn those knobs perfectly up and down and uh, hit the fill button on the dash. And those tanks will fill. If you want to close them, flip those right back down. So the ballast system works well on this thing. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, um, 
seats were replaced through this boat. These seats up front don't fit exactly as the factory's seats did, but they are in great shape. And you've got the bow filler there. Um, on either side, you do have a little bit of storage under those cushions we've got in here. So you can see that there. Again, up on the front, our Garmin speed control. I'm going to the tower to finish this up before we get some driving footage. But we've got the Bimini top here, currently stowed in the boot, which we'll open up and give you guys a look at that. Um, wakeboard tower as original as it was in 2001 when the boat came out. So you've just got your uh, your tow point up there for wakeboarding, your Bimini on the tower. Again, um, carpet, vinyl, good shape aside from those couple of seams. Towards the back end of the boat. But overall, um, this boat runs great. And we'll get some, uh, some running footage and some outside video of this as well. So stay tuned. A look at the outside of our 2001 Super Aeronautique in green and white. We've got a brand new Aeronautique graphics on there. The Super Air lettering on the back on each side is brand new as well. Um, in our parking lot video, we point out any other uh, any any of the exterior scratches. I won't get into that here. Um, there's a few minor scratches on the boat, but overall, things looking pretty good. Um, got our tower with the bimini top tower mounted mirror as well 250 two 250 pound ballast tanks in the rear for a total of 500 pounds We've gone through and done a fresh rebuild on the 330 horse pcm motor um zero well i guess not zero hours we've ran it uh, a couple hours on the engine making sure everything works well thing runs like a champ we'll get uh, some running footage of this for you guys in just a second but again overall the boat is in really really great shape Our 2001 Super Aeronautique, we'll get some driving footage of it. Again, this thing's got a full overhaul on the engine, brand new engine, um, exhaust manifold, intake. We put hours on it, runs great, so. Let you take a listen when it goes by. Give us a call if you have any questions.